Hi there, I'm Julia from the Food and Nutrition Program at the Latin American Youth Center. And today I am going to make some desserts. These are great desserts, they're easy desserts, they're desserts you might be able to make with things you already have at your house right now. Especially right now when folks are staying home, maybe not going to the grocery store as much. These are nice little treats to have around. The first dessert that I'm gonna make is white bread cinnamon sugar cookies. I learned about this dessert from Jacques Pepin. He's a very famous chef and he made it on one of his cooking shows online. And I thought that looks so easy, I have to try. It was really good. I wanted to show you how to make it too. For this recipe, all you need is a piece of bread, some butter, some sugar, and some cinnamon. Here's how you make it. First, cut the crust off your bread. If you need a snack while you're making it, you can nibble on those. Now I'm gonna butter my bread. I've let my butter sit out on the counter so it's nice and soft, which is easier since the bread isn't toasted. I'm just gonna put a thin layer of butter or margarine would work, anything like that on this side. Looks pretty good. And on the other side, which means I'm gonna get some butter on my hands. Okay, one piece of bread buttered on both sides. Now the cinnamon sugar part. I have my sugar right here. I'm just gonna take a few spoonfuls right on my plate. That's plenty. Now I have some cinnamon. I'm gonna sprinkle a bit on there. I like a lot of cinnamon, but you can do it to taste. With this guy out of the way, I'm just gonna use my fingers to mix that up. Smells so nice and cinnamony. Now I'm gonna shake it so it's nice and evenly spread there and press my bread, my buttered bread, into one side, pick it up, shake it out, press it into the other. Make sure they're both well coated and I'm gonna cut it just like Jacques Pepin did in his video into four strips. You could cut it into any shape. You could even use a cookie cutter to make it an interesting shape. These four strips are going on a cookie sheet. I decided I don't wanna bother heating up my whole oven. I have a cookie sheet that's going in my toaster oven and I put a little parchment paper down, which you can use to help it not stick. If you don't have it, that's okay. It's going in at 350 degrees and we're gonna keep an eye on it. It'll be ready in like five minutes. Let me stick it in. Okay, our first dessert is well on its way. Let's work on our other one. Some of you may have heard of this one. I had heard of it for a while before I tried it. This is a dish called nice cream. Sounds like ice cream, but with an N on the beginning. And the reason for that is because it's sneaky and a little bit healthier than regular ice cream. To, to make nice cream, you need a food processor or a blender. This is the food processor I use. It works well for me but you do need something like that that can really work on some frozen bananas, which I'm gonna grab out of my freezer. Okay. 
Whenever I have bananas that are starting to get a little old and I think I might not eat them all before they're done, before they start getting black and maybe having bruises, I always peel them, break them into pieces and throw them in a Ziploc bag in my freezer. That way I can use them for an ice cream or a smoothie or even just something to snack on later. These chunks of banana, they're just about an inch big, are going right in the food processor. Sometimes they freeze into big balls like this and you can just break them apart with your hand. That looks pretty good. Depending how much ice cream you want to make, you can always put more in stuff to you. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on here. This is gonna get loud, get ready. So the first stage of our nice cream, these frozen bananas turn into little balls. It gets like little tiny pieces of banana but we're gonna keep going. Phase two of nice cream. These balls start to come together into big clumps. Let's see if I can show you what's going on here. You can see it's starting to almost look like a dough or something. They're starting to come together. We're not done yet. It's gonna be loud again. If the blade starts spinning like that, like it's not catching, you can open it up, grab a spoon, and just spread it out again. It's also good to get the bits around the side because you want to get all of it. At least I definitely do. Okay, let's go again. Call the boulder phase of nice cream. There's a big piece of nice cream that is slowly rolling around. Keep going through the boulder phase. Okay, the boulder has started to flatten out. We're starting to get this really creamy looking nice cream. This is a good opportunity to add any mix in. Let me show you what it looks like. So our nice cream is starting to be nice and soft. We're gonna add, you can add whatever you want at this point. I like to add cocoa powder. It's basically making it chocolate. This is unsweetened cocoa powder. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there. Ooh, that was a little more than I meant. Use my spoon again to get the nice cream off the edges. Let's 
looking good. And give it another mix. That's it. Let's see how we did. Oh, I wish you could smell. It smells nice and chocolatey. You can see from this, it's a nice soft texture. It's like soft serve ice cream. And I can load it right into my bowl. I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm. This is one of my favorite treats to make. We often have bananas and we throw them in the freezer and then it's just a matter of blending them around. You can do it in a blender like you'd make a smoothie in. You might have to put a little bit less in there, but it should work just fine. Mm. I almost forgot, we have cookies in the oven. Our white bread sugar cinnamon cookies are coming out and they are beautiful. You can see they got nice and golden brown on the edges. Underneath, they're a little bit caramelized. You can smell the cinnamon. I think they're gonna go really well with my ice cream, just like that. Now, these are both really great treats to make. They're easy to make at home. One of the things I really like about an ice cream is that it doesn't have any added sugar. It's really easy to accidentally eat sugar even when you're not having dessert, because a lot of foods that we buy, even tomato sauce or ketchup or sometimes canned soups, have sugar sneakily added into them. Sometimes it's really good to have a sweet treat. I made these sugar cookies using sugar, but sometimes it's nice to know that you're eating sugar. It's a good thing to have for dessert, like in these sugar cookies, and it's good to make things that have it and you know it. And then when you're having dinner or lunch, it's nice to have things that don't. I love making the ice cream because it's still sweet and creamy without adding any sugar, which is so good. I'm gonna have a bite of both together, see how we did. Mmm. It's delicious. It's a nice sweet treat with things that were just sitting around my house. I hope you guys make some ice cream at home. It's really fun with cocoa powder. It doesn't need that. You can even put vanilla extract. You can put peanut butter in, which is super good. You can sprinkle toppings on at the end. You can make it chocolate chip, just like any ice cream. It's delicious. And of course, our white bread cinnamon sugar cookies, which are so easy and come out so delicious. A few little cookies, just what I needed this afternoon. I hope you guys have some yummy sweet cooking at home. And I hope to see you next Monday at three for another live cooking with LAYC's Teen Center. Have a good one.